thing in my bob to see if it's good or not. I've not I've never tried this one, never had it. It was suggested it's the lemon drizzle cake. And for the whole thing, it's eight sins. And with Great British Bake Off coming back, oh, did anyone else watch that last night? I have to watch it eating like a tin of beans, you know, something really stodgy so I don't go downstairs and make all the cakes. But this one is a Slimming World one and you will need two lemons. It doesn't say what size lemons. I got the biggest I could find. Uh, I was assured it was sweet. Better be sweet. Otherwise, my granddad better eat a lot of cake. Uh, five eggs. 45 gram of sweetener. 50 gram of self-raising flour. And that's it. That's all you need for the, the whole recipe. Uh, sorry if I sound a bit weird. I've got a bit cold. Uh, right then, let's get started. It looks like a really simple recipe. Uh, I'll do the thing down again and then when I've done it, I'll flip it back up. Yes, let's get cooking. Right. Sorry, I'm going to go over the shop. It's at first I need to measure out 50 grams of self raising flour. Look, that's a fail. Walk down into Asda uh, this afternoon. Uh, and it was just lightly raining. Now, as I got to the top of the hill, it started absolutely siring it down. So I'm a bit soggy. And I'm, I was starving. And with Asda being so busy, it was actually a really good thing for me. Because it stopped me from buying loads of rubbish stuff that I didn't need to eat. Which is always a plus, really. Right. Um, what are you doing? Right. Has it got a gram thing in it? Grams, there we go. 51. 50, not 51, 50 grams. Remember, I'm not an amazing chef. In fact, I'm a rubbish chef. Have I even set this recording? Everything's changed, it did an update. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. I will speed this up. 52 grams. How do I get 2 grams out? What even is 2 grams? Oh, that's exactly 50 grams. I am amazing. I'm not. I'm really not. Right. In there. That's not a lot of flour, really. There was some, as I was looking through for the recipe and everything, I saw some for Weetabix cookies. Weetabix, yeah, Weetabix cookies. That are uh, your LPB. So they're free, if you have them as your LPB. Or six sins for the whole lot. Right now I need... What do I need? My writing, I tell you. 30 grams of sweetener. Right. Off. 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 I'm not used to scales. I'm more of a right. How much? 30 grams of sweetener. I use Candorel. Uh, I think I said that before. Because it's nicer it's not as artificial two and three three four that's a lot of sweetener <laughs> 30 there we go that's nearly like half uh, a thing a tub of right what does it say to do next Zest two lemons. Lemon zesting. Lemon, lemon, the zest is the, the white bit, but not the rind in it. Not white bit. I don't know. The, the directions for these are not super clear, so I just have to... Can I put that straight into there? Yeah. Oh, it already smells sour. 
How are things going to take this? Dexter. I'm not usually going for putting like the outside skin and stuff. So I have to get all the yellow and none of the white. <laughs> He's just turned into rack and ruin, it's getting all slippy. I've also washed my hands and washed my lemons because you should you're always wash your hands when you're cooking. I'm pretty sure you know that. How long does it take to. Right. Do I add both or do just two lemons add? Yeah. Seems like a lot of zest. Maybe I've got too big of lemons. How are you all doing this week? I messed up with the cheese. Because I'd already overdone my sins on the weekend. And that was, it wasn't really with bad stuff. But like I said before, I have the baguette. And, uh... It was all like wasted on the high five bars, but those high five bars, my god, I'm buying more on Saturday. So I don't know what I'm going to do this week. I'm hoping for a main tea. Oh shit, the bed. <laughs> this is why you fail. Oh no, I'm all sticky. I'll just let me wash me, let me wash me lemon because I've dropped it in all the sweetness. Need something to dry it I was cleaning all this day, I was cleaning my room, which is a huge task. For such a tiny room, I've got too much rubbish. Do, 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 do. There you go. Super testing skills. I didn't want to get it all prepared before, and then you just think it's what easy to do when it wasn't. I mean, it's not difficult testing a lemon. My arm hurts though. That's magic. That's good. The granddad's probably side not going. What the hell is going on? I'm watching Tipping Point at the minute. You know that one that's like, like them arcade games? It's a weird concept for a quiz show. Right. Vested. Oof. Oh, Vested, right? I know mean, there's quite a bit on. We have big lemons. Oh, there's an heart attack this morning. Uh, as I was coming, I, I, I just woke up and uh, I was going to the toilet and as I was just coming out the door, I opened the door and Grandad's demon cat pounced off his bed right into my field of vision. And you know when you, you know, you're mostly still asleep. I was like, what? Ah! Like, what was going on? Then again, I never really know what's going on. So there we go. Right, I need to add... The juice of one lemon. Right. Let me go. See my huge hair. Uh, squeeze lemon in. That's two. That's two lemons. Add. Squeeze lemon in. Uh, That's horrible. I have never, ever, ever in my life zested and squeezed a lemon. Normally if I'm having lemon, they're going in gin and tonic. Smell nice. Pips for days. 
That noise is disgusting. But yeah, I've asked if you're all having a good week. Are you? I hope so. I hope you've done better than me. But I've been super strict now. Like, I know this is eight sins, but I said I was going to do it. But I'm not going to heat the eat heat. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. I think my grandma will probably get lost of this. Do you know if you've got any cuts on your hands, which I've got about five, this is super stingy. Oh no, I picked in it. I don't want you get out. Oh, you should see inside this bowl. It's all gone. Weird, you because it's all like the sweetener. It's all fizzing away, it's like having a chemical reaction with it. I should probably turn my oven on to what's be on 180. They also did lemon drizzle cake on Great British Bake Off last night. And I've never had drizzle cake because I don't like wet cake. I like my cakes dry. Right. I think that's as much as I'm getting out of them. Yes. And no, I'm not going to try it because you just have me sucking my own face for an hour. Right, what do I do after that? Beaten egg yolk. So I'm guessing I need to set it on pick up one. I'm guessing I need to separate eggs. All oh, five of them. Right. Egg. I want the whites in this bowl. <laughs> We're taking all eggs out first. Is anyone else like me? You know, like when you've got an egg and you get them, these little bits on the side of it, like the membrane bits. Oh, I don't like that. I always need them off. With anything which is why I like when I'm making scrambled eggs or omelette or anything with eggs. Uh, it takes me a lot longer than it should. <laughs> I am special, kind of special sometimes. I'm a, I'm a hazard to myself. Shouldn't be allowed out. Maybe if I'm with you. Put the rubbish in this bowl. I'm not an organised person. I never play into the door. Let's get out. This is all kinds of gross. Obviously, if you're not as fussy as me with your food and stuff. So spend the extra time making bits off. I still find it weird working without music. I wonder if I have up some water for you, maybe. Right, that needs to go there. I don't say a pinch of salt or anything. And I know we've got a bit of salt in cake. I'm not going to because it doesn't say to. Right, <laughs> you And these. Beaten egg yolk with egg white to a fluffy soft pea. That's going to take me ages. I don't have a, an electric whisk. Well, I do, but I think it's older than my granddad. <laughs> I don't have a clue as to where it is. Look. Should just put them straight in the bowl and make a mess. I am a messy cooker. I always have been. If I can use every bowl and every pan, I probably would. Right. Beat this in. Oh, that looks, doesn't that look delicious? It does smell super duper lemony. Lemony? Lemony. So, that's beating him. Looks more like a 
What's the morning lemon tea? Put me over now. 180. 180. These are a lot of things that cooked at 180. You'd think they'd have that actual one on. I think there's a pip. I think I just saw it. Oh well, this is oh, not the pip. There you are. Get out. Right. I now have to whip, whip it on, whip these into soft peaks. I will speed this up because this is going to take me a long ass time. I have the upper body strength of a nap. I said that before. I would suggest if you have a mechanical one to do it in that. I'm going to go sit down and do this so I will pause this video now and I'll see you when the stiff, not stiff, soft and fluffy peaks. Bye. Right, that actually didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. It's like 10 minutes. And then we have that. That's that's a soft, fluffy peak, I think. And now I need to fold in to this. I was going to take photos again. Oh no, I forgot. I call the different stages. Run. Right. Awesome. Quick lemon in zest, two lemons, add beaten in egg yolk, whisk egg whites, fluffy soft peaks, fold in, and then bake. Simple as that. Two thumbs fresh. Right, fold in. I so today, blah, 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 blah. today is a day of first. I have never whipped egg whites. I've never eaten a drizzle cake. Never eaten a lemon drizzle cake. Folding in is little bits in it. Should I have folded in the. Oh, I don't know. I'll just do it like this. Because I don't want to get the softness out. Look at that. I'm quite proud of that. Three little bits. Oh, the whole one. I don't know. If this comes out and admit of get a disaster. I apologise and don't, I mean the recipe's right, just don't do it as I've done it, you know, wrong. If I have done it wrong, I don't know. Right, folding, folding, this is folding, right? I noticed on the Bake Off they didn't whisk for egg whites, did they? They made a Genevieve though, I don't know what a Genevieve is. Is this a Genevieve? No, this is really quick. I don't know. It looks super soft. I've never ever made a cake mix like this. Mm, good. Plop, plop, plop. Doesn't smell as lemony anymore as I thought it would. Folding, folding, folding. It's just about drying off. I've been home about an hour and a half. It's really rainy. It was stupid of me with a bit of a cold to go walking down. But I thought, oh no, I'll get some body magic in. It's only dribbling. And then it starts siling it down. Oh, sugar. It looks split. Well, it does. I don't know. I ain't, got, I ain't got a clue. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I probably should have watched someone else make it before I attempted it. That'd be cheating, wouldn't it? You know, that'd be sensible. I just saw the uh, recipe though. I don't think I saw any videos for doing it. They probably
这样呗。Right, that's that folded in. It looks like the weirdest cake mixture in the history of cake mixtures. Right, get yourself a silicone mould or whatever. And put it, I don't I think this is too much. Don't. I must just have, oh no shit. It wasn't as well folded as it should have been. And another pip. Pippy long stocking. Oh, I can't fold it in there now, can I? Extra flavour. I don't know. Right. Can't fold it in. There we go. Look at it there. getting knocked out as it goes in the oven, won't it? Do you know, I wish you could actually answer me as I'm, as I'm chatting away, like, yeah, Dara, air will fall out as it goes in. Does that look all right? Do I flatten it down? What do I with it? I need, like, super step-by-step -step instructions. Because I ain't got a frigging dicky bird. Right. I'm a mess. Use this. Because I would think... Sorry. I would think that, um, what am I on about? Why am I trying? I think like the lemon juice would split it a bit anyway. Because it's lemon juice. Oh, it's split. Yeah, no, don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Right. Oven for 20 to 30 minutes on 180. Now, this isn't a fan assisted oven. I'm still coming to grips with it. In fact, this will be the second thing I've cooked in it, in the oven bit. So, I'm bending down like a jackass. So, show, 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 turn into Sean Connery. <laughs> That's a really bad impression. Yeah, uh, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. So if I do it for 25, that's split the difference and keep checking on it. Yes. It's about time today for this. I'm not using the phone. And for the next part, I need a clean bowl. Look. And this lemon. This is for the drizzle bit. To drizzle. What do you need an umbrella for, Snoop Dogg? For a drizzle. What do I need? What do I want? What am I doing? What is life? <laughs> what do I need? Oh yeah. Never mind. I'm crazy. Don't worry. I went crazy a long time ago. It's all good. Oh, we can ride this. So, right, bowl. Yes. Squeeze in a lemon and 15 grams of sweetener. That is a loud tick. Uh, you saw me squeeze a lemon, you don't need to see it again, do you? No. As I said before, you probably don't need to see it. I'm also making a racket. Just like biting about. Everyone needs to know that I'm cooking. And then I'll leave all the mess. So later on, I can be bothered. I saw Jamie Oliver do this for squeezing lemons, like squeeze them in the skin first. Although I've never eaten all the Jamie Oliver cooks because he smothers it in oil. But oh, a healthy, healthy thing, and then just tips more oil on it. The only thing healthy about that is it just slides right through you. Right, lemon. Ooh, 15 grams of this first. Get me if you want. 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, bang on! Feeling swifty! Right. More seeds than seed, max seed. 
and we have a lot of seeds uh, just squeezing the lemon again into this Ribbons not doing anything, probably doesn't like it's doing anything okay. I think for the drizzle it probably should have had more lemon in than just one that noise it's gross still can't believe people are watching these I really don't understand why I mean I love you all I love talking to you all afterwards isn't that fantastic I think that it, it, I've said it before I repeat myself constantly I, I apologise for that but I don't know why I've got this tick as well that um repeat things constantly like a single word I say it all the time one of my friends finds it hilarious because I've got some trigger words and she finds it hilarious to say one of them and then watch me go off for 10 minutes just repeating that word she's a bugger looks but I love her right that that has to be the utmost of juice I can get out of that picked up oh. Do any of you watch, or have any of you watched Death Note? Quite an old Japanese manga and anime and, and they did a live action. They're doing a new one, like 10 years later. My friend sent me a link to it. I cannot believe it. I love it. It's one of my favourite mangas and animes. That and Attack on Titan. What butler. I did all day. I didn't really know Come to that over and go, what? Should have known. Massive anime fan. Oh, my hands are killing me. I'm dreading weird here. I really am. All for cheese. I will not be defeated by cheese. I refuse. The lactate bastard. I can't believe it as well. Because I just devoured the block. Like I cut off one strip and then the next thing I know I'm eating the block from the block just, just uh, I felt horrible afterwards as well <clears throat> I, had, I had a proper oh what's the point moment and it literally lasted like an hour after I've done it and it was just... it's not the craving though because the day I've eaten like a horse but it was all free food it was all really good for me and then I just went and buggered it up with that I got rid of the chocolate spread as well couldn't have that in house, it was staring at me. Right. Oh, I'm nearly done. No, threw it all over the floor. I'm a menace. Shouldn't be allowed to do things. Right. Uh, no, that's there. I don't know why I did that. I knew that would happen. Ugh. Oh, God. It smells so nice, though. Like the smell of lemon. Jesus Christ on a bike. <laughs> no, I thought we daft. Right, yeah. So again, if you're gonna do this, two lemons, five eggs, 45 grams of sweetener in total, 30 and then 15, 50 grams of self-raising flour. I did use self-raising flour then. Yeah, I use self-raising flour, don't worry. And that's it. And I'll still now until to, I've got to once I take it out, I've got to let it cool for a little bit and then drizzle on me drizzle and put it back in for 10 minutes and I can't check and there's no lights in my oven and so I can't check to see if it's burning because it's just got another you know, thing at the top that heat up whereas the old one before it packed out had the fan thing going so it's really squeaky as I'm moving into a bed as if it might pick up on there actually Look, say zero. So good. Yes, right. I think that's it for now. I think I'm done. I didn't get a video out yesterday. I don't know if I can do them every day because I don't have a lot to talk about all the time. Yesterday I was just cleaning. I'm not a very fascinating person to, to be able to talk every day. My hair as well. I've just bought another red dye because they're just not taking, and I don't know why. 
I've been dying my hair since I was a kid. My mum was the first one to dye my hair. At like 13. And funnily enough, it was this colour I look like Lilo off um, Fifth Element. You know that film? It was bright orange and horrible because she wanted to see what it looked like on her hair. We had the same face shape. So she was like, oh, I'll, I'll just dye yours and then I'll be able to tell. So yeah, it's, it's a complete mess at the minute, is what I was getting at. How oh, have pips got in here? professional people doing these sorts of videos and I highly suggest you go watch one of them because dang no, I am not one of them not even a little bit should I try this now because it's got 15 grams of sweetener in might be all right to oh, it's still really sour It's a nice sour, but it's still sour. I hate sour. There is 30 grams of sweetener in the cake. I might have to dust it with more sweetener, but then you get that artificial linger. You do it with that. The uh, the lemon cuts right through it. Wow, it's 32 minutes already. And I've basically waffled on about no lemon. Oh, God. Right, when it comes out, I'll uh, put this back on to do the drizzly bit. Drizzly, drizzly. Yeah. I hope it works. Eight cents for a whole cake. Of course, I hope it works. I've been making this every week. I also want to try the biscuits. The wheat bits ones and then there's oats ones and they're both free unless you put like chop trot in them or blah, 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 cocoa powder you know like the oh my god like the Cadbury the, the two sins for the sachet if you put one of them in they become two sins uh, for the whole lot we'll try them another time not next week because I'm going to do the banana thing I'm going to do it and give you a full rundown yeah, we'll see how that goes. Right, I'll see you for now. Bye. See, this is why we have a problem because it's only been in 15 minutes and it says 30. With, with this oven not being fan assisted or something, it's just, it looks a bit, it don't look as bad as I thought it did. But I'm going to take it out and let it cool for a bit. Ah, can't touch it. Just come out of it, red hot. Right, so it looks like that. It looks a bit more brown on top than it probably should. Do you think? I don't know. It's got another 10 minutes with the drizzle on, which I'm going to turn it right down for. Because that's not going to be done inside, is it? I don't know. Not a clue. Maybe if I turn it right down. The oven to like 75 and leave it in for the other 10. It's all guesswork, but baking, isn't it? It's kind of a product, like stick something in it, but I don't want it to all implode on itself. So it's not falling down, so that's a good thing. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. What's that I'm gonna do? Put it back in. Yeah. I'm glad you all agree with me. Unless you're screaming at your you you screaming, no, stop, don't do it. I'll put it on the bottom. And then it's further away from me. And give it the other 10 minutes. Or 75. So if you like me and you've got a top warming oven, do that. Do the same as me. Don't know.
Don't know why I'm doing this. I'm looking forward to eating it. it. Smells really good. Like really good. There's pips all over my floor as well. I'm gonna pick them up. Bye. Right, I've had it out. Quarter an hour. And I'm gonna put the drizzle on and then bang it back in for ten minutes. Which is what it says to do. And I'm gonna continue putting it back on in the on the bottom shell. This is all just gonna go peep Tom. It's not really shrunk, I thought it had shrunk back from size a little bit. Don't do that, you swine bag. Oh, it just looks like a sloppy mess. Power. Oh. I should have probably, for my taste, put more sweetener in. But recipe sticking to doing properly things. Stuff and things. Right. It reminds me more of egg than cake. Like a big... You probably should play with it this much as well. But yeah, like a big, um, I don't know, we'll see when it comes out, when it's ready to cook. I'm back in my, flash my belly, back in my um, size 18 skinny jeans, which is hilarious because I don't think anything at a size 18 should be classed as skinny. But there we go. Uh, I got into them a while ago. Right, I put it back up to... 175. No, I haven't. I haven't at all. I put it up to 180. Go me. Yeah, put it back up to 180 and then 10 minutes to let the thing caramelise or whatever. It does. It do. I don't know. But yes, 18 jeans. I've been in size 18 jeans for, for a while. Uh, which was good because I was in size 24 jeans. Horrible. Um, and this when I because I've been yo-yoing up and down, I couldn't get back into my size 18 skinny jeans, my black ones, and I, and I loved them, and I felt good in them. I felt good in myself in them. Uh, not that I look brilliant in them, but just because they were size 18 skinny jeans. And then I couldn't get in them anymore, and I was devastated because it, it was my own doing that did it. Obviously, no one else force fed me, did it myself. And they've been there, and I haven't, it's been about five months. And I knew I'd come down enough to get back in them, but I didn't put them on. I was, I was terrified of putting them on and them, them not closing, or the big hang over the top. And just for the longest time, I, they've been sat in my bedroom mocking me. Just going, yeah, look what you did, you used to be in me, and now you're not, and you're going to do all this again. And it, it was another huge deal or hurdle to get over in my own mind but i'm back in them now i put them on this morning purely because i couldn't be bothered ironing any of the ones i just picked them up like right fine got them on one leg got them on the other pulled them up got them on i was like yes finally so that's given me a, another good boost that i needed after my cheesy nightmare of a beginning of week it was only Monday and I've been so strict, so super strict. This is the first thing with sins I'm going to have in. And I hate dieting like this. I hate the whole having to be strict and sort myself out with it. Because then that is properly dieting. Like Slimming World isn't a diet. But when you fucked up so bad and it's just constantly running around your mound. Mound? <laughs> running around your mind. It... It's yourself tearing you down again, and that's a horrible thing. So, doing the, the super strictly and all the speed and, you know, your dinner, cutting it right back, which you don't need to do anyway, but in your, in my mind, certainly in my mind, I have to, and if I'm doing it strict, I'm doing it so strict. 
Um, it's been really bad for Body Magic because either it's sun's cracking flags and I'm just a big pool of goo, or it's pickling it down. And I love rain, but you can only walk in it for so long. Yeah. So yeah, jeans back on. Happy about that. Even a little bit of like not got that. Flash your manicures. Hey. You can learn how to cook and see the top band of our pants. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, so 10 more minutes. Well, 7 minutes now. Get it out, let it cool. I'll do that bit. Get this edited. Cut all the crap out of me rambling. Like this bit. And then eat it. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. Nom, 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 nom. Right to do a skips. Bye. Well... This looks like an unmitigated disaster. It does not look good in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I'll show you it. It's just all collapsed. But I can take it out now. Let's all keep his fingers crossed. You got them crossed? Oh, yeah. I've never had it. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Kind of looks like the pictures. It's like egg. Is it supposed to be like that? I mean, I can't go off this little bit. It's a little tower. I can't go off that little bit, can I? It's still a bit steamy. What's off on top? To me, that's lemony egg. <laughs> you know, like a... I don't know, we'll see when we have a proper slice. But that is... That is just egg. Which comes to, I mean, it's nice. Lemony omelette. Sweet lemony omelette. Are you talking to me on Facebook? Because uh, I put a picture up. So if you're watching this now, that little dinging sound you're hearing is you commenting on the photo. And I'm going to comment back now. Because that needs more time to. I don't. I think I've messed up. I don't think I've done this right. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. I mean, it's sticky. And it's sweet and sour. But it does smell eggy. Yeah, I don't know how I feel. We'll see when it's dry. I want to start getting this video done. It's firm. It's That's egg. That is egg. That's lemony egg. I'm going to have to try it out. When I can always have some cold. I want to get this video just trying to... omelette. I don't care what you say, that is omelette. They even got... No. No. I mean, it's nice. But that's not a cake. In any way, shape or form, is that a cake? That's a lemon egg. Oh my god, that's weird. It is egg. It's like the whites of an egg. It's really lemony. It's sweet. It's... It's lemon scrambled egg in a loaf. I mean, it's good. I can't even want to eat it. It's nice. But it's not cake. Unless I've just messed up. If I've messed up, please tell me that I've messed up and I'll give it another go at some point. But that. That is just. Egg. Lemon egg. Is it supposed to be? Have I just naffed it up that much? It's good, it is good. But is it eight sins good? Hell no.
No. Could have just done eggs and lemon juice. Can you hear it? I'm trying to, I'm not, I don't normally eat like, I'm trying to let you hear the air uh, rated egg. Yeah. Right, but I've knackered it up somewhat chronic. Oh, this should be renamed the lemon egg loaf. It's nice. It is nice. It's weird to wrap your head round, but in absolutely no shape, form, texture, anything is that a cake. No. Good though. Definitely try it. It, it. If it's your thing, although whose thing is lemony eggs? Who, who wakes up in the morning and goes, oh, proper want some lemon scrambled eggs in a block? Because that is what that is. I knew there weren't enough flour. I knew there weren't enough flour to be a cake. But it's all about finding that balance, finding the different stuff. It's, it seems to have all settled at the bottom, so you've got like egg whites. You know what I mean? Like when you cook an egg in a pan. It is good though, and it's really Moorish. That tart, sweet flavour is really good. The textures get would take some getting used to. It isn't a cake. I'm sorry. But overall, really tasty. So if you can get your mind wrapped around that, which I'm struggling to do, it's good. I'm going to go edit this. It's going to take some rioting. Because I'm going to have to cut loads out. Because I think it's on to about an hour. Yeah, it's not cake. It is good. Not cake, but good. Right. Thank you all for watching if you're still here. Yes, this is probably not how it's meant to be done. If it's not, <coughs> if it's not and I've done it wrong, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to think that this is how it's supposed to be every time. Because I don't think I'd make it again like this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe by the next slice, maybe when it's cold, I will give it a go. Because that's a little warm. It's not hot. It's just a little warm. And then maybe it's not like lemony scrambled egg. But then I think it's just going to be like lemony cold egg, which I think is going to be gross. Because no one likes cold egg. Well, quiche, I guess, but I'm not a lover of quiche. <coughs> it's a lemon quiche loaf. There we go. If you called it that, I'd be all over it. Because it isn't a cake. <laughs> yeah, so if I am wrong and this has come out terribly, due to my inadequacies please let me know and then i'll try again okay up thanks all for watching see you later bye